Are you concerned about your child's vision given all the online distance learning that's happening right now in the wake of this global pandemic? I'm Dr. Rupa, a pediatric ophthalmologist, and we're gonna be figuring that out. Stay tuned. So studies have definitely shown that increased near work, that's reading, writing, any of that is associated with increasing nearsightedness. It's the globe, well, what we used to call a pandemic as well, but I don't like to use that word anymore. But there's no difference really yet shown between digital device time and reading in a book. So just because your child is gonna be on a device for six hours, whereas they were not on a device for six hours before, that doesn't necessarily mean that they have an increased chance of nearsightedness. That increased near work, however much near work they were doing before in school, like you know they're reading or they're writing essays or whatever, is going to translate to probably the same amount of hours even with online distance modules. So that part should at least reassure you. Now the data is still very sketchy and you know a lot of the reliance on computers and iPads and devices for teaching is pretty new within the last 10 years. So we don't have a lot of long-term data about that, but thus far I would say data is mixed. And you know honestly we are just all doing the best that we can to try to get our kids educated and hope that they're learning and just get through this as a community. So you know, give yourself a little grace and don't worry about that strict screen time rule. So let's just go through the American Academy of Pediatrics and the American Association of Pediatric Ophthalmology and Strabismus. Let's look at their guidelines for screen time. So they recommend kids zero to two years old have no screen time at all, like nada, nothing. Hopefully that's not going to make that much of a difference for you guys, except for the fact that now we have a lot of parents that have to work remotely. You might be giving your child a device so that you can actually get some work done. And I hear you, I've got three kids and now I'm trying to do some remote work and telemedicine consults as well. It is difficult, but that's the recommendation. Now from ages two to five, they recommend one hour of supervised screen time. So that I think is pretty easy to do. And supervised screen time, meaning you don't just let them have an iPad and go off into their room and watch whatever. You're just kind of monitoring it. You're interacting and asking questions as to the content that your child is watching. Now kids five and above, and these are our students, right? These are the kindergartners through, I mean, even med students are now being um, told to, to go home and study from home and online modules. So. Those kids, the recommendation is to create a family media plan. So in this day right now, the family media plan has to include whatever your school is recommending for online distance modules. Now, what I would say is this, is given that your child is probably gonna be on their device for a good amount of time, I would limit the amount of extra screen time just to compensate for that. So, you know, just limit the amount of TV watching or video game playing because you know that they are gonna be on a screen for a significant amount of time. So those guidelines are just that, guidelines. They were not made in an age where there's a pandemic going on and children have to be homeschooled and most of them are doing modules on their computers. So I understand, I get your struggle. I've got three of them, I totally understand. So just do the best you can, give yourself some grace as a mom and not as an ophthalmologist, but Second question I always get is, are blue light glasses necessary to prevent eye fatigue and digital eye strain in your child? So I have my blue light glasses right here. This is not something I routinely recommend for a pediatric patient who does not wear glasses. The data again is very, very mixed regarding digital eye strain and the health of the eye and blue light. So there are no studies that have shown yet that wearing blue light glasses is going to prevent a cataract or prevent macular degeneration or a retina problem. Digital eye strain is supposed to be characterized by things like eye fatigue, eye strain, headaches. Um, those are the things to look out for. So if, if you wanna try it, go ahead. Not a lot of data that's showing that it's gonna be beneficial or prevent a really serious complication in children, but it's certainly not gonna hurt. What can you do to make sure your children's eyes stay healthy while they are doing all of this online distance modules? 
I can't say that word anymore. Oh my gosh, it's gonna like drive me crazy. While they're on their devices, okay? So 20-20-20 rule, I talk about this a lot. Every 20 minutes, take a 20 second break where you're looking at something 20 feet away. Remind your children to blink. That's really important because when they're on a device or even when they're reading, the blink rate decreases so drastically, it really causes a lot of dry eyes. It goes from about 30 times a minute to about five times a minute. So 30 times when you're just having a conversation with someone to about five times a minute when you're on the device. So remind your children to blink, use artificial tear lubrication prior to them initiating their schoolwork. That's going to just help keep their eyes lubricated and keep them comfortable. Make sure the positioning of the screen is appropriate, that they're not, you know, I have a tendency to sit a lot like this. It's terrible. I'm gonna watch it now that I'm gonna be doing a lot more telemedicine and just on my computer all the time. So make sure that their neck is positioned appropriately. Make sure that it's not in a really, really bright area. That's gonna cause a lot of glare and difficulty for the child to see as well. Just make sure that the surroundings are appropriate. Do you remember some of the rules about being on your device? Just you that. are supposed to blink. Good job. Um, and blink one um, second. Okay. Because if you just keep staring at it, your eyes could water and it kind of looks like you're crying and then the water in your wetness dries out and if it dries right. out, like you need water so you have to go to the faucet. That's not right. Put in water. No, no, you don't want to put in faucet water. You want to put in an eye drop, an yeah, artificial so tear it, eye drop. Yeah. Don't make your kids do iPad for a long time. Let them only do it for a little time. Bye. Good okay. tip, Sunny. But what I was saying was those are very important tips. So she got some of it. She forgot the 20-20-20 rule. That's the only other thing I emphasize with the kids. But um, the other thing is that the increase in nearsightedness was associated with decreased time outdoors. So make sure your child is outdoors because that's really important. And I think that's where we might see the increase in nearsightedness just because the kids are not, they don't have mandatory recess and they don't have sports and PE as they normally do in school. So make sure your kids get outdoors. That's gonna be, I think, more important than like blue light glasses or anything else is just encourage your children to go outside and work off some energy, build it into your routine and schedules. I've seen so many creative, you know, schedules all around online. So follow those, but build in, if you can, an hour break in the morning, hour break in the eve afternoon for time outdoors. And it's just gonna help the kids reset, which I think is super important too. Make sure your children, if they are on iPads or holding their devices 18 to 24 inches away. I also like to recommend alternating real books with electronic books. So if they have an electronic book that they need to read for school, and if they are just readers, like my oldest son, who's just turned 11, loves to read, I make him read a paper book. I know it's so old fashioned, but I make him read a paper book for um, just getting, just not doing so much constant digital device time. and. I would personally recommend no digital device time, an hour to two hours before kids go to sleep at night. And again, it's because of that disruption of their circadian rhythms. You just want to get them into a routine as much as possible. So try to structure most of their online learning during the day. I hope that addresses some of the concerns you might have about the online distance learning and your kids and their vision. If you have any comments or questions, please drop them below and let me know if there are other topics you want me to address. And everyone, please, please, please stay safe and stay healthy. You know, we are doing our part at limiting routine eye care. We are practicing social distancing in our family. And I just encourage everybody as much as possible to just be mindful of the fact that we have so many healthcare providers on the front line of this and they are truly putting their lives at risk. And so if you guys, if you don't need to run extra errands. Please don't go out unnecessarily and socialize. I know it's hard. I'm an extrovert. I love it. it drives me nuts not to be able to plan play dates and hang out with my friends. Do virtual play dates and do virtual mom wine sessions or whatever. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I am Dr. Rupa and I will see you soon. Sometimes when I board, I like to scooter. Scootering is fun.
Look how fast 